Folks, it's Wednesday walk around, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy that you're watching. This is a 1966 Corvette Stingray in sunfire yellow with a black interior. It's a 427 cubic inch engine. Now, you may say, Charlie, I know about cars. What's a piston? Well, this is a piston. And it goes in the block, and it goes up and down when it fires. Now, when the piston is at the very top, and the gasoline and air is in there, and it's all compressed, the spark plug ignites, and it drives that piston down. Then, the piston takes a free ride up. That's the second stroke. And it pushes the exhaust fumes out, because the exhaust valve is now open. Then it takes a free ride down again. The other pistons are doing the job, and it pulls the air and gasoline in. Then it goes up on the compression stroke and compresses all of that, and then it fires and it's driven down. When someone talks to you about your rings, these are the rings that go around the piston. Then they make sure that the oil stays where it's supposed to stay. When they say that you, you threw a rod, and sometimes it would go through the block itself. This is the piston rod that bolts onto the crankshaft, and this is the wrist pin. They call that the connecting rod. More information than you wanted, but I'm showing you a 50-year-old 427 cubic inch 1966 big block Stingray with four on the floor, four-speed manual transmission. I call it a handshaker. 425 horsepower. That was the hot setup in 1966. Now, take a look at the wheels. They are authentic knockoff wheels, and this is referred to as the knockoff. You hit that with a hammer, it spins off, there's no lug needed, and they'd slide another wheel and tire right on, then spin it the other way and hit it with a hammer. That was for racing. These are called side pipe, side exhaust. They're factory side exhaust. And these are heat shields on there. I once brought a car home that had side exhaust without heat shields. My daughter, little Sandy, got out of the car, put her leg against it and burned it. I still cringe to this day. And I tried to warn her, she was in shorts. General Motors, one of the backbones of America, designed, engineered, and built in 1966. It's Kerbeck Corvette. Come join us.